16-14, Stevenson defeats Washington College here tonight at Mustang Stadium. Glenn Clark, MC McFadden, now joined, as I predicted, by a jubilant head coach. You did say that. Coach Kathy Raley with us on the All Access Post Game Show. Coach, let's just go through this. Okay. Your team's won seven in a row. Mm -hmm. They've won ten of their last 11. Mm -hmm. You played your second game in as many days, right. and you defeated the number 23 team in the country who was riding a nine-game win streak. Mm -hmm. Do you have the words to describe this? Because I don't know that I do. You know, I think the girls are going to ask if we could just not ever practice again and just roll out and play games. <laughs> I'm really, I'm kind of afraid of that. Um, it's a great feeling. And, and yes, the wins and losses are very important to me. But the most important thing, which I just talked about in the locker room, is this group has the unbelievable capability of getting better in every minute the game goes on. Every time out, we execute what we talked about. Every halftime, we come out and we execute. So it's not that they have just good lacrosse skill. It's not that they're just good teammates. They're actually great teammates, great listeners. And the IQ right now is just through the roof. They, they're like sponges. They just want to know more so they can execute at a higher level. And we're just we're all on this ride together, which is just a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Is it ever? Mm -hmm. Is it ever? <laughs> and it, right, it is. Yes. Yes. <laughs> You have so many freshmen. We've talked about that before. <laughs> right. I mean, it's mm -hmm. astronomical the mm -hmm. number of freshmen that you have. What a long way that they have come this season. Well, you know, I, I think that there's there's a there's a pros and cons to having a large freshman group. Freshman group, they don't know any better, so they're just gonna they're gonna follow where the upperclassmen lead. And in, and when I say that, what I mean is they don't know that maybe a year ago we wouldn't have pulled this game out. They don't know. They just think, oh, we walk on the field and that's and we go and we win and that's what we do at Stevenson and and that's what women's across is all about. So because we have that, there's no fear. Um, you know, it's it's so funny we go and play these games and at the beginning of the game i hear you know they, they're announcing the other team and it's like so and so senior so and so senior so and so senior so and so senior then they announce us and it's you know freshman 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 so I, and i always think that i'm like what is the other coach thinking because if i was doing that i was like oh we got this and then we go out and we play and i can see that the other coach go this what what's going on <laughs> So, you know, it, it, from, from top to bottom, we're just doing all the right stuff. They're taking care of their bodies. Um, they're sleeping well. Uh, and they have fun together. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about some individual things tonight. Mm -hmm. um, you brought. We actually predicted that you were going to bring up Caitlin. And what stands out to me, in the early going, maybe a little bit of struggles at the draw. And you ended up going a different direction there for a little mm -hmm. bit. But in the second half, when you needed them, she came up with them big time for Huge. you. How Huge. impressive was that? You know, she's getting more and more confident every time she takes it. I think she's getting more and more comfortable with where she's capable of putting the ball. And her first step to that place is, is outstanding. Um, it, you know, her, her development in just even just the last three or four games, I think she needed just a couple of games to get comfortable with um, maybe not the higher, higher level competition before she's like, wait a minute, I got this. And then we show up the last couple of games and she's just she's killing it right now on that draw. So um, and we know who she matches well with and we know who she doesn't. We can tell when she needs a break and, and she's more than happy in that great team spirit, more than happy to step back and go, yeah, somebody else needs to get this one so I can catch my breath and and because we preserve in that way that's why she's winning in the second half yeah well, she did a great job in she the sure half. did like your entire team did a yes. great job in the second half they actually played better we feel like in the second half mm -hmm. than they did in the first despite half. playing yesterday despite <laughs> like, playing yesterday it, absolutely and we, they, they yeah. just buckled down yeah. and you could tell you took a really good time out in the mm -hmm. second half mm -hmm. and you, they came out and scored on the next play mm -hmm. so i don't know what you drew up but it worked yeah. really well Thank you. so you can Thanks. tell that they were just really focused they are in this game they are they're just they're you know they're in the zone from the moment we step out foot on the field in our kind of pregame and and they have fun when they're supposed to and then they they zero in on what the task at hand is and and it's a whole lot more fun when the when the game plan that you set out for them works right and there's right. so so I really feel like we have developed a great amount of trust between what the coaches want the team to do and what the team knows that we're telling them things that where they can succeed and that combination is is going to be tough to beat down the road I hope. Oh, yeah, yeah, no doubt. Mm -hmm. Coach, uh, congratulations. Thank Enjoy you. it. We'll see you on Saturday. Thank you. See you Thanks. Saturday.